What is going on everybody and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns dubbed episode review today. I'm going to be going over episode 48 of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns dub. I know I've been a week short of these episode reviews. I just had the I just have the hardest time of actually getting these episode reviews out. It's just weird when they come out. I just don't get the I I even have a hard time actually accessing them, but I found an easier way to access them, so hopefully I can get it out before the next episode review comes out. So, I'm sorry about that, but without further ado, let's get into this episode. So, this was the conclusion to Bowman and Playmaker's Duel. We saw at the beginning of the series, we see this mysterious guy in like a flame kind of suit just standing there talking to his Ignis. And they look down upon I and his weird figures, duel or Glomans. So they continue the duel. Playmaker is able to dodge the attack from the second flow Hydra Drive. Is able to survive, and then he continues on with his turn after negating the attack, after using Link Rebo's effect. So then he uses one 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 time passcode to get himself. A token, it helps Elphase gain attack points. Then he uses Elphase and this Link token. I think, no, it's not a Link token, it's a, I can't remember what, the, I think it's, has, I don't remember what it was, but he get, uses this token to summon Link to Cyber's Witch, which allows it to, if you banish if you summon a card next to its link, you get a couple effects. You can add a spell and a monster to your hand and by banishing a spell card. And also allows you to summon a monster from your graveyard. So, she, Playmaker adds these two cards to his hand. You see I is doing his little stirring pot thing. And at this point you can tell what he's going to do. He activates the spell card Cynet Rick, which just allows you to summon any Cyber's type monster as long as you have monsters on the field to be able to summon it. So he uses Tefcon Bird and Cyber's Magician through. Or, yeah, Cyber's Magician through the. Or no. Why? That's not Cyber's Magician, it's Cyber's Wizard. He uses Cyber's Wizard and Tefcon Bird. Just do its own ritual summon, which is the first ritual summon we've seen in the Yu Gi Oh series. It was amazing, and then he's able to summon level 7 Cyber's Magician, which was great to see that card. If you are a sub watcher, then you already know about this, but honestly, it's still good to see, and especially in the dub. Um, he's able to increase its attack points by a thousand due to its effect. When it attacks a Link monster, it gains a thousand attack points. Harlan noticed that if he, if this figure, Gloman, takes his attack, he'll lose the duel. So he activates Judgment Arrows, which doesn't do much because all it would bring is to 2,000 attack points. And he's only down to 1,400 life points. So he'll be done for no matter what, even if he does activate Judgment Arrows. So then he activates... The trap card property spray, which allows him to gain by sac by tributing a monster on this field, he gains life points equal to that monster's attack point. He sacrifices one of his flow hydra drives and is able to gain enough attack points to survive the attack, which brings him all the way down to 900. Blast off this glowing figure himself, and we get to see his true form. He do. He doesn't know where he's at at this point. He doesn't even know why they're doing. He doesn't remember anything. Which basically he just amnesia. And later on in the series this will kind of explain what's going on with this character. But they're trying to get Bowman to speak. Which is what his name is. Is Bowman. They're, gonna try, they're trying to get him to explain what is going on. Why they took Jin's consciousness. But... He doesn't remember why he's even here in the first place. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I didn't have my mic down really close. I'm sorry if it was a little bit quiet for you guys. But anyway, so Bowman doesn't know where he's at. Then Harlan communicates him, trying to tell him that 
every duel he wins, he basically gains back his memories. Apparently, this makes a spark in his brain, basically telling him, All right, my name is Bowman. I, I need to win this duel in order to regain my memories. So he then gets back to his turn. He looks at the field of what the scenario is. As you can see, it's Playmaker 2000 with him only at 900. So he summons another Hydra Drive token due to the effect... Due to the effect of flow hydro drive being destroyed, it summons a hydro drive token, and using the hydro drive generator, he's allowed to summon another token. He's able to get out two cool coolant hydro drives, I believe they're called, or they're cool hydro drives. I think it's coolant hydro drive. But he gets two of those out and activates property spray once again, sacrificing one of his coolant hydro drives so that he can gain a thousand attack. He, because with property flash is all, another effect of, of property flash, is that when using this effect, it changes the attribute of the monster, of your opponents, for the attribute that was, for the monster that, that was tributed. So since coolant hydro drive was a water attribute, it changes cyber's magician and cyber's witch into water type monsters and what this not only did he gain a thousand life points from doing this but now due to coolant effect he's allowed to attack them directly it doesn't end up working because cyber's magician's effect allows it to cut the damage in half and i think he uses a trap at this point i can't really remember well he activates judgment arrows to try to finish him off but again it doesn't work i think he activate it's either Either it was a graveyard effect, or I can't remember. All I remember was Cyber's Magician activated his effect, which was able to cut the damage in half, so that he didn't take the final blow. So now his life points are at a thousand. So then he draws. He's able to get Degrade Buster by banishing two monsters on the field. He gets Degrade Buster on there. He's able to get Dotscaper back on the field. He uses Dot Link Rebo's effect to summon it. By attributing the Dotscaper that was on the field. Then I think. He. I think he does. Get the. Yeah he get, I think he does get Dotscaper back on there. Because when it's sent to the graveyard. He gets to summon it again. So then he summons Elphase. Then he summons. Link Rebo again due to his effect. Oh I just realized. I forgot about the end of his. Before Bowman end his turn, he summoned Cover and Hydra Drive, and basically what this card does is that it's allowed to protect. You cannot be attacked directly. You all monsters on the field, other than that card, has to be destroyed first before they can actually go to Bowman. So I forgot that. And also by discarding a card, he can only attack with one monster. So this caused him to actually do Storm Axis before the plays that happened. Um, he uses Storm of Axis, Harlan notices what is going on, and then he activates Storm Axis, which is great to see him in that action. And then he does all the plays where he gets the Great Buster in that card zone. Um, I'm going to stop, I'm going to cool down for a second because I am talking a little bit fast about the episode. Um, I really do like this episode. I really like how the series is actually keeping to where it's not going too far off from one of the sub. This is the closest dub we've had to the sub it, it ever, I really think. Like, I don't think it's been this centered that much in a... Heck, I don't even think in a very long time. I don't think it's ever happened before. So that's kind of cool. I wanted to kind of mention that before I went any further. But anyway, we get to see Shooting Coat Talker. Which, as great as this card is going to see, I'm glad we got to see this card. I am scared, though, to the fact that we have not seen this card yet in the TCG. Um, I really want to use this card. That's the only Code Talker monster we don't have. It has a really cool effect where for every monster that it points to, it gets to make an additional attack from its regular one. Since he's pointing to two monsters, Cyber's Magician and Cyber's Witch, he can attack three times, gets rid of Coolant Hydra Drive, he summons a token, uses a second attack on that, then attacks the Covered Hydra Drive, but due to its effect, since 
This is the last attack and he has one monster on the field. It loses 400 attack points. Doesn't matter. He wins the duel. Which, honestly, I feel like shooting Go Talker would be a really good aspect to it. The fact that you get multiple attacks is really good. Hopefully we get it in the TCG soon. That's what I'm really hoping for. So, let's hope for that. But, Bowman's life points goes down to zero. He pulls down from his D-board and basically plants in the ground. I tries to take it consciousness, is able to tear off his arm, but ends up getting a virus, which is pretty bad. Then, Harlan comes up and steals him away from him. They go on to escape to try to get away from Playmaker. He's still in the hunt. Then, he brings out his trusty bitten boot, which it's kind of great to see them again. If you watch the sub, we had, ooh, I'm not going to spoil it. I almost did. Sorry about that. Um, so, Bent Boot come, they're about to duel him, but then, coming, piercing from the sky, we see our good boy, Soulburner. That is the new character that we see, this little flame guy from the very beginning, and he tells him later on, he tells Playmaker that he needs to go on and chase them, he'll handle them from here, and then he asks Flame if he's ready to go, they're all, he's all set and ready to fight, he re Ben Boot realized that he does have an Ignis, and their goal is to try to capture the Ignis. He or retrieve the Ignis. That's what their goal is. And we get to finish off with Solberg going. The name is Solberg. The I'm only telling you this because, well, I would I wait. What was it? I would like to. I thought you would like to know who. Send you, send you back ashes or something like that. Yeah, I think it was. I can't remember. I'm trying to remember it so hard, but I'm putting too much thought into it. Love that line. Oh, sending you, because I thought you would like to know who sent you home in ashes. That's what it was. I love the fire reference. Can't wait to see more fire references from Soul Burner. But that was basically the end of the episode. You just see him with his fist, and then it ends the episode off there. So, really did like the episode. It was a really good conclusion to that Bowman, and a really good duel for the first part of the season, too. I would actually honestly say about that. But I'm going to end it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think of Soulburner's character. I would prefer someone else but i'll talk about that in episode 49 but with the, thank you guys so much for watching talk to you guys down below and have a great day